hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is sarah welcome um in today's video i have caved to the team you obsession if you have not heard of this where have you been um so team you is an online shop that connects you to different retailers it is almost identical to wish i'm not really sure what the difference is uh, it's very cheap, made in China predominantly, um, takes about three weeks to arrive. So I've decided that I would jump on board. A lot of controversy around at the moment, people saying, oh my God, you can get loads of stuff for free. And then the opposite end of the spectrum, it's a scam. They're just going to steal all your money. So this is just my experience. Um, I had a look into this. I don't think it's as lucrative as some people are making out obviously if it's too good to be true it normally is you can just go on and get loads of free stuff you can get some free credit if you share if you invite friends that join along but it tends to be 20 30 pounds free credit and then it says the rest of it 70 pounds or whatever if you spend a 700 pounds order so it's like it's 10 percent discount which is I mean, it's pretty standard to every other shop out there, um, but you can you can quite easily get 20, 30, 50 pounds, depending on which one it lands on. Um, word of warning, it only lasts for 24 hours. Um, so I'll just insert a screenshot here of what it looks like when you first sign up to the app. Um, I'm not doing this for shares because it doesn't work like that. It's got to be a phone number. I'm obviously not going to give out my phone number or ask for anyone else's but I shared the link with my partner he ignored it for a day or two I nudged him and said sign up and I'll get 30 pounds free he did sign up but I didn't realize it doesn't tell you anywhere that the link only lasts for 24 hours after 24 hours it all resets so for example at that point I had gone through all the steps of sharing spinning blah 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 it takes about five minutes it's fine um and i'd got a 30 pound free credit 70 pounds spend on a 700 pound order but by the time he'd clicked it that had expired so it didn't count towards anything when i went back onto it it then restarted and offered me 20 pounds credit and 80 pounds spend on an 800 pound order um and his sign up didn't count so I then couldn't resend it to him because he'd already signed up. So long story short, I didn't get a £30 free credit. I then couldn't be bothered to chase my friends, family, say, hey, sign up to this, blah, blah, blah. But I did place an order. So that's what this is. When you first sign up to the app, when you first log on, it tends to say, buy 10 items, get six free, which is what I got. I think it varies how many items you have to buy to how many free items you get. Uh, that being said, I don't think overall in price, I don't think you are getting anything for free. I just think the items on that list, obviously you get a prescribed list of things that you can choose from. And the ones it gives you for free, you get the cheapest ones free, balances out the things that you're spending your money on. So I got 10 items, I spent £47 and I will let you be the judge of whether it's worth it. I think it works out about the same price as if I'd have bought all this on Wish. So I don't think I've got anything for free. I just think it's cheap stuff. Um, I am very excited to open it though. I can only half remember what I got. I think I got some pyjamas. I think I got some stuff for Xander. And I'm sure I got some sort of organisation or home thing, but I can't remember what. But I was that excited today. It got delivered while I was working. And I started opening it. I'm like, I just can't wait. I can't wait. I don't want to film this. I just want to open it. And I sort of opened it. I've looked in the top. As you can see, I've not actually got anything out yet. I withheld. So, as I'm in bed, let's get into it. So, this first item, I think, is something for Xander. Um, I'm using my phone to film, so I won't be able to have a look on how much I paid for all of these. So, I will just put, like, some text um, on the screen if I can figure out how to do that. If not everything that I got I'll list out in the description um, you don't get affiliate links or anything with Teamy so it will just be for information only 
so this is the first item it is obviously a knockoff hugo boss set uh, so it's just some little shorts it just says little boss on the shorts and then a little boss t-shirt i actually quite like this i think it's really cute um i won't know without putting them in them what sizing's like but it does look about the right size i got two to three years in this um so yeah i say the material's quite good quality actually it's not um polyester -y. it feels quite nice um and soft it's nice and stretchy so yeah straight in the wash uh the next item it looks quite floral i'm not quite sure what this is i don't remember i'm presuming it's something for me it's not going to be anything for Sandra. <coughs> so we've got a little green crop top. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't know why I'm a little bit dubious about this. Okay, so a green crop top and then some wide leg floral pants um i i don't remember ordering this i mean again they feel quite good um i will have to insert a clip of me trying them on um yeah i'll reserve judgment until i see them on they feel good quality i'm quite impressed actually compared to some of the stuff from sheen the material feels really nice uh, this one I do remember buying and I've been looking forward to this arriving all week. So this is a pack of three shorts and strappy top pyjamas. So I am in the UK at the moment. It is getting warmer, which is nice, but I only have like long trousered pyjamas and it's a bit warm. Um, we've moved house this year and now we are at the front of the house. We get the late afternoon sun, which means that this room warms up last. Uh, so these are just like shorts with a matching uh, tank top type thing. Um, these do feel a little bit polyester-y. Um, still quite soft, but I'm not sure how that will fare sleeping in. I normally do prefer cotton. Um, but I will try them on and see how they feel. Uh, and I got, obviously I got the cream, cream, beige cream, a teal coloured short set, and then a pink. So next we have a box. The box doesn't give any clues as to what's in here. Let's have a look. Okay, I know what this is. Oh, so this is one of them cup things that I've seen all over TikTok, all over YouTube, all over socials. Obviously, it's a knockoff version. I can't remember the, even the name of the real one, but it's the large cup. I don't know how that works. Ooh, it smells a bit funky. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry, just figuring out how it works. So you get a straw with it. Oh, so I think you can use it like, would you ever use it as a coffee cup? I'm not sure. Or do you just use it with the straw? I, I don't know. I think I thought the whole purpose of the design was that it could go in a cup holder. But this still seems quite a wide base for most car cup holders. Um, I don't even know 
what the capacity is. I'm, I'm just rambling now. I don't really know what to say about this. It's a cup with a straw. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I use that. <coughs> okay, we have another box. I need to stop like buying stuff on an evening. Oh, okay. Hmm. So I bought some more Tupperware. Um, so I was planning on having, I've got some cupboards in our utility room that I use from a baking cupboard. And at the moment it's just got like bags of flour, sugar, etc. And I wanted to put it all in containers because that's what I used to have at the old place. And it's just not working at the moment with the bags. It's just getting flour everywhere. It's just not nice. So I bought six. <laughs> six of these <laughs> containers. Excuse me. And they are just clip. Clip lock over the cup. I think that's, I don't know. I just can't talk today. Yeah. So they are just, they're just Tupperware. I'm struggling today of what to tell you. It's just, just, I don't, I was going to say that, I was going to say it was just shit then. But obviously it's not, but it's just not a very exciting shop, to be honest. think this is another shorts pyjama set or maybe it's a trousers one but it seems very fluffy which goes against my agenda of getting summer pyjamas oh so soft though hmm. okay so we have like a sports bra type top so this i think this is supposed to be a pajama top oh stretchy oh i hope i hope this fits it's 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 so hard to describe how soft that is it is very fluffy and very soft not very summery even though it's a crop top and these are pajama bottoms now i would bet my house that these pajama bottoms only come up to about here on my leg pajama bottoms from anywhere other than next do not fit me i have quite long legs it is really annoying when i buy pajamas and they only come up to mid shin and i can guarantee that these will be the same but I, you never know i might be proved wrong but as i was saying at the beginning before i started waffling these are very fluffy thick pajamas i'm really confused by the concept of this because if you're wearing them in winter you'd want a proper top and if you're wearing them in summer you don't want them to be fluffy so i'm a bit confused and as soft as they are it is 97 percent polyester so these are just gonna get hot and sweaty I am guessing these, I'll try them on, you know, I, I might be proved wrong, but I'm guessing these are going to be a dud. And I'm pretty sure that there's, it's like Wish, you don't, you don't send stuff back. If it's no good, you, you just lumped with it. Oh, I'm quite enjoying myself. I'm good with them coming to the end. I think I have three more items to show you. Oh, oh, I know what this is. Little boy is asleep. How is sleeping through this? I don't know. Again, this is just such a boring item. It's just a household item. Very boring. Um, it is 
some <laughs> silicon trays for my air fryer so we can do something a bit more saucy, a bit messier without having to worry about it all dripping through the air fryer. Pretty, yeah, it's just boring item. Oh, I then have a an anklet. I'm really enjoying anklets at the moment, just because it's summer and I'm getting flip flops out more. Um, it's very bling. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see that. So it's just two little hearts, very sparkly. I'm fairly sure it'll go green after a couple of times of using it, but I think it was like pence. It's definitely less than a pound. So that was pretty cute. one other thing after this is this oh oh i think this is supposed to well it's it's obviously definitely supposed to be for zander i mean it is it is super cute it's like a little wine colored hoodie but i don't rate <laughs> feels quite I don't know it'd make me cringe I think I don't can you hear that <laughs> yeah I don't I don't know I'll wash it and see how it comes out but I think it'll look cute because um is is ginger if you don't already know my my son is ginger so it quite suits red colors but I will wash it and reserve judgment. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very tired this evening. Um, it's been a full day of work. Looked at Ben Dunder's been with me since nursery and then tidied up, had tea, and now I'm with you guys. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if it's broken. Okay, so it's two separate anklets. I thought it came in like a set of three or if it was just one joint one. So it's like an infinity, can you see that? An infinity symbol and a heart, and that's just on one anklet. And then we've got like a separate one, which has got like a map of the world type thing. I mean, it's definitely not a map of the world, but something similar in design, I think. I can't I can't really tell what else it would be meant to be. I think it is. Oh yeah, because is that supposed to be the boot? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, whoever designed this geography was not their strong point. So I think you can see, um, I think I can't do it backwards. Where's it gone? Yeah, so I think that was is supposed to be Italy. <laughs> so I'm presuming this is supposed to be Europe. And then, I mean, yeah, God knows. <laughs> but, I mean, from a distance, you're not going to see it anyway. So... So that is it. That is my Team U experience. Will I order from them again? Possibly. Um, probably as I did with Wish. So for Wish, I've got a lot of bullet journal supplies from there, washi tapes, stickers, etc. Um, yeah, I mean, I have nothing against it. it. They use Royal Mail. It was here within the, within the specified time. I think I ordered it about a week and a half ago. So it's come within the 10 days. Um, so I think 47 pounds. I got a decent amount. I mean, it's just, it's just cheap stuff, isn't it? I don't really know what else to say. I certainly haven't had a bad experience. I think if you go into it as naive, and that's a that's a bad word. I didn't mean to say that. 
I think if you go into it believing that you're going to get loads of free stuff, that you're not going to have to pay any money, that you're just going to get loads of free stuff, obviously that's not going to be the case. I mean, I said at the beginning, I'll say it again now, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. However, I don't think it's as scammy as some... I think you either go one or two ways from what I've heard. You either believe that you're going to get a load of free stuff, which is rubbish, or you believe that they're just going to steal all your details and not send you any items, which is also not my experience. So take it with a pinch of salt. It's cheap stuff at the end of the day. So there's always going to be a bit of a gamble. So that is it. That is my Team Year experience. I apologise profusely for the quality of this video. I am clearly a bit tired, not my best. I almost feel a bit dozy. Um, but that's just full time working and motherhood. So hi guys so it is now a couple of months later i thought i would just jump on and update you as to how everything went now that i've had the item for a while which ones i use which ones i do etc um so just to update you um you'll have seen from some of the pictures that i did return some of the items um and the great thing with vinted is that it was free returns um it was prepaid label and everything um and it, I, so normally when you buy stuff you get free items if you return anything you then have to send back the free items where I didn't so I sent back two items that were full price and got refunded that full price and then the free items were just still free so that actually brought my order total down so to recap I spent 46 96 on this order I returned two items so I returned the three pack of pajamas the shorts and tank top set and I returned the floral trousers with the crop top. Um, I also wanted to return the fluffy pajama combo thing, but that was actually a free item, so I'd have gained nothing by returning that. So I have since sold that on Vinted. So with the two items that I returned, it brought my order down to £24.48. And then with the £4.99 that I got from Vinted from selling the pajamas, it brought it down to £19.49. Um, I have since also decided that the wine coloured sort of tracksuit set that I bought for Xander, um, I've, it's been two or three months now and I've not put them in it purely because it's so polyestery and I don't think it'd be very comfortable, I think it'd be really warm, so I'm actually going to stick that on Vinted as well. Um, so overall, um, yeah, it came to about £20 left. Um, the air fryer baskets I've got to be the winner. They get used on an almost daily basis. It just makes it really easy. We just pull them out, clean the baskets. We don't have to clean the rest of it. Um, we've actually bought more since then. The water bottle is a bit hit and miss. So I use it every now and again because when it's there on my desk when I'm working, it's really good because it's such a high volume of water and I just keep sipping from it. But it is too big to fit in a cup holder. So I try taking it in my car and it just falls over and then it leaks everywhere. Um, so it's hit and miss, I use it every now and again, it's not up there. Um, one of the anklets broke the second time I wore it, um, it just got caught on my trousers and it snapped. Um, the other ones have been fine, I've worn them a couple of times. Uh, what else was there? The other boy set that I bought for Xander, the fake, the Hugo Boss dupe, that's one of my favourite sets. It's good cotton, it's shorts and t-shirts, been great for this weather, so he loves that one. Um, yeah, so overall, really good experience. I have bought another Team U shop, so wait for the next video, and just thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed it. Thanks, bye!